Hey guys, uh, this video is going to walk you through how to use Google Spreadsheets. Uh, it's also known as Google Sheets. Uh, it's located in uh, your Google Drive. So you have to be logged into your Gmail account and if you look up top you'll see this Google Drive button. If you click on that it will take you to this screen where you can click on create and you're going to go to spreadsheet. If you've looked if you've worked with Microsoft Excel before, it looks it looks pretty similar. The first thing I want you to do is change it from untitled and give it a, a proper title. And for this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make a yearly budget. Uh, and it's not just typing in numbers and adding it up yourself. I'm going to show you how to use functions, basically putting formulas in so it adds up everything for you. So everything is spot on and super easy. All right, in the first cell, which is A1, we're going to type in categories. All right, and down this, down this column, down column A, I'm going to type a, a list of costs, living costs, uh, in this section. Across row one, I'm going to put uh, the months, so that way we can organize it. All right. All right, here's a list of living expenses. You have housing, automotive, groceries, uh, electric, phone, television, internet. Uh, and down here, we're going to add them up with cost of living. So it's not quite wide enough. I want to make this column a little wider. So I'm going to go up here, drag like this. All right, good. Now that it's all set, we need to put the months across here. So I'm going to start with January. All right. Now, there's a way to drag all the way across, but if I only put January in and drag across, you're just going to see January uh, appear in all these cells, which we don't want. So I'm going to delete that. But if I put February in there and I highlight both of them, then I can drag down a ways, which should be, I think, M if I let go, it will put all the months in there that I want. All right. Okay, now I need to go in and put, uh, I need to fill out January, how, what my living expenses are. All right, I went ahead and typed in some expenses of what it may look like when you're, when you're typing in your expenses. So one thing I want to do is also put in income. I'm going to put in monthly income of 2700 So we need to figure out the cost of living. So what you could do is get a calculator out and add each one of these up. Well, that takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time, and the problem with that is if something changes, let's say maybe you have some higher automotive expenses, you have to re-add it every single time. So we're going to use the auto sum tool. So I'm going to click right here. Go over this tool, Functions click the down arrow, click on sum. Now all I have to do is highlight all these numbers, or all these cells actually, and press enter, and magically it figures out the total. Uh, we also want to figure out the difference. So we have income is 2700 this month, cost of living is 2631. Let's go down to difference. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm just going to type in the equal sign. Now I'm going to I'm going to want to take this number right here. So basically, I'm taking whatever's in this cell. Press the subtract sign. Now click on this cell. Press Enter. And automatically, it tells me the difference. The cool thing with all this is, whenever you change one of these numbers, let's say for instance that your groceries only cost one twenty. Now you press enter and watch down here. Everything changes automatically. So you can adjust everything and see what your end result will be. Uh, one thing I'd like to add is a dollar sign. So I'm going to highlight all of this. Click on dollar sign. Alright, uh, as of right now I want this to stay the same all the way across. For each month so I'm going to keep this highlighted 
go down down to this corner and pull it over over to December and it pulls everything over uh, it doesn't just pull the numbers over it pulls the formulas over and refigures them as you can tell when I click on this cell it tells me that it's F2 through F14 so no matter what's in cell F2 through F14 is added up in this area well, we're going to do one more thing with formulas on the right hand side. We're going to put totals. So on this side, we're going to put total. And let's figure the totals. Again, this is super easy. So use this down arrow, press on sum. And then I'm going to highlight. Press enter. Let's see what happens over here. So it tells me my yearly total for rent. And let's pull it down here. It's going to pull all the totals down. We don't want this zero right here, so I'm going to click here, press delete on the keyboard, and it goes away. I also uh, kind of want to emphasize this column. So I'm going to highlight this column, press here for bold. Now these are all in bold. And we don't need this so wide, so I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. So what we have here is yearly income. Uh, we have yearly cost of living and what's left over. And this is with, I already put savings over here. All right. If you notice when we highlight side to side, we can't tell what's in this column over here. So what I'm going to do is go over to view I'm going to freeze one column which freezes this column so well, now when I go side to side you can still see uh, what these numbers represent so it works pretty slick and we're going to do the same thing for the top just in case we're going to scroll up and down a little bit so we can go to view freeze rows just freeze one row so now this top row will always stay there so we're pretty much done. Everything functions the way we want, but let's add some color. For cost of living, I'm going to highlight this text. Let's go over and highlight all that and maybe make it dark red. And you could also go in, maybe you don't want to change the text color, maybe you want to highlight it and uh, literally highlight it. Maybe you want to go to yellow here and have this, the difference in yellow, and highlight, highlight it in yellow. Uh, all right, looks good. One thing you may notice is the last column doesn't have any decimal places. That's because we made it afterwards. We made it after we applied the uh, currency symbol everything else so if you want decimal places uh, on the last one as well you can highlight it click on format as currency and it will fix that so that's what it you may want to go in and maybe make uh, the months in bold or categories in bold it's up to you but the really cool thing is at any time, let's say you need to change something for whatever reason, maybe you had some huge auto expenses in December, uh, and it's going to cost you $2,000, press enter, you can watch everything adjust. Uh, and you can see that now you lost some money, so you may need, need to go into another area. Maybe that month you need to spend zero on clothing, and that will kind of help fix things. And then maybe you need to go into some other area, uh, maybe entertainment, put another zero in there, and that will kind of help fix your budget. And you can see now you're, you're, you're still uh, in the black. All right, just a couple more things. One thing you may have noticed is at the beginning of the video, I changed this column width. So it could, I could fit all the text on one line instead of being doubled up. Uh, on a lot of these columns there's a lot of extra white space like you don't need it this wide in these in these columns and the problem that causes now you have to scroll side to side but 
if you go ahead and highlight these columns, you can change all the sizes at once. So once it's highlighted, if you click right here, oh, go back over to there, you can adjust the size of one of the columns, and it makes them all smaller. So this way, if you have a wide enough monitor, it can all fit on one screen. And you, you may adjust it once and decide it's not quite what you wanted. You can go back in here, make it a little smaller, and look at this. It all fits in one screen. So it's just the way I wanted it. Uh, okay, last thing. You may want to share this with someone. Uh, if it's a normal project, you may want to share the spreadsheet with a friend, a colleague, teacher, etc. You can share it up here. Uh, if you click right here, it allows you to type in someone else's email address and you can allow them to edit it. Uh, you can maybe just want them to view it. Or you could even make them the owner of the document, which uh, I do sometimes, depending on what it is. All right, the last thing. Uh, maybe you want to share it with someone or send it to someone. First is sharing. If you go up here, you can click on this option and you can type in someone's email, e email address and you can share it with someone. Uh, it works really well, especially if they have a Gmail account. But maybe you want to send it in a different, uh, a different format. If you go to File, you can go to Download As, and you have a bunch of options. Maybe you want to save it as a CSV file, PDF, or an open document format. Probably the most popular is going to be Excel. So if you click on this option, you can save it as an Excel document. This means if someone else wants to open it up in Excel, they can. And then you can, you can email it to them, and they can save it to their computer, and it works pretty slick. So that's pretty much it. Right now, I'll play around with the computer, try changing some of the numbers, I'll watch the rest change. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will do my best to help you out. Take care.